over to the smoking yeah, section, I'm nigga. Get your niggas high, nigga. Be like. no whammy, yeah, nigga. I'm a smoke. Slam my niggas, say. Yeah, I'm a smoke. Can't roll the J to this. Yeah, I'm a smoke. Got to roll the plug. What it is, man. Slim Reaper256. Back with another episode of Shakur Stevenson Fight Night Champion playthrough. We are currently 24-0. 20 knockouts, man. Just made our debut in the welterweight division off a catch weight fight with Pacquiao. Swinging and missing big, big shot he just scored with. After that we took out the welterweight champion, man. Oh, and there mm. lands the right hand with big shot there. Strap season continues. But with grabbing them damn straps. We wind up having to take care of the mandatories. And the first mandatory we got in the welterweight division, Tommy Hearns. It is what it is, though. Let's get it, man. This is the man is talking about. Champ is here. Yeah, this is from last time. Did a kid, champion of the world. News what happened. Yep. Next stop, race all the time. You already know. Moving up to legacy mode ladder. Take another step up the legacy ladder. Check your new rank. That's what's up, man. Fight challenge for Tommy Hearns. Win the right, win the fight before round seven. Knock him down twice. Win with less than 16% damage received. Say less, man. Tommy Hearns be fighting, man. Get it. Man. Oh, since we moved up, let's see if uh, Sweet Pea got his, got his belt back. How much we got? We, ain't, we went up a weight class. Let's go, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, Sweet Pea. The random number one contender. Looking for the OG, man. That's what I'm talking about. OG's right back there. And we gotta fight number two guy. 6'1, 78 inch reach. against Yoshino. And two. He did Yoshino in too, man. I don't know what the hell Teddy Atlas was talking about. That was a good fight, man. Punch hmm, it wasn't boring at all. Uh, 40. 
to win in that ring, work hard. Pity. Let's go. 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 Nice work. Nice work. My Ogre. Welterweight action, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. The kid's on his way to the ring. You can see it in his eyes. You just know he's got that feeling tonight. It's on, man. It's on. Tommy Hearns, what it is. Gotta watch that right hand. Let's go. Look at him. Tommy Hearns is so alert right now. I mean, look at his focus as he makes OG. that walk that so many fighters dread. But he makes that walk down to the shout ring. To just shout out so to uh, Leonard, though. Hope to get ready for this fight. The hood love school, man. First week beat now, Leonard. And Duran, man. Let's go. 24 0. Twin knockouts. New York's finest. I'm just scared, nigga. <laughs> Damn, man. Six foot. 65 and 10. 50 knockouts. We got more knockouts than we got fights. All right, fellas. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. That's cold, man. Oh, he is with it right tonight, out the gate. Round one of our championship fight, Teddy. You can almost feel Damn. this arena pulsating with excitement. You've been through these kind of fights before. Mm -hmm. Just made a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. The kid's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Well, it is what it is, what we have in front of us. What is this, one of those where you warn our viewers, don't go get a sandwich? Oh, just don't go to the refrigerator, if anything. You're not going to have time to get back. Get the kid's dishes. showing you that sublime skill Got right now. Got the two-punch combo. Look at this with that shit. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Well, we
we've seen the offensive weaponry that Tommy Burns can put forth, but what about the opportunities that are now created again. with the counterpuncher opposite him tonight? Yeah, well, he's got to be careful, Tommy. He's got to make sure now that his feet don't slide. You know, you can only use your height and be that kind of puncher from a distance Ooh. if your feet are oh my God. sliding. You get a little anxious. You're going to give up that height, and you're going to be right into the zone. Careful. You know, right into the... All the way in, all the way out. Punch you mm. need you to be, where he can make you miss, and now he can find you. I can get in there and get up underneath that shit. Get off me, man. Let's go. Let's go. Iron smart, though, man. That you fight. Mm. Yeah, I got a straight too, man. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Keep doing what you're doing. Good round, good round, good round. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, breathe in. Take a deep breath. Great job that round. You're doing well. Yeah, watch the damn right hand. Ooh, he hit us with it right out the gate, man. Got to slow down a little bit, too. Nice work, kid. Good job in that round. You need to capitalize on his misses, okay? to a fresh start right Hit now. That last game round, right he was game. really shook up, but he looks to be steady on his feet here. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Worked out really well. Throwing off the right time. hand after getting Ooh. tagged like that. Mind your defense, Cole. Mind your defense. Would you rather have a fighter who's feared or a fighter who's fearless? I feel like I'm talking to Sonny from the Bronx tail. But I think that I would rather have a guy that has fear. Ooh. Because he's going to be smart all the time. He's going to be a guy yes, that's going to be aware of things that right you hand. need to be aware of. If he's so-called fearless, he's going to walk into oh, all uh, kinds so of things that are not going to allow him to be a fighter. Halfway through round body, number man. two. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Oh, shit, hit him to hit. Oh, my God, he hit me with this shit, man. You can feel it in the controller. And when he touch you with that right hand, guy, damn. Kid's defense is now serving him well. Yes, nice sir. job blocking that punch. He's doing a really good job here of being patient. And yes, patient sir. with a good reason, Teddy. You can tell he's got a counterpuncher mentality. What's the key to being a counterpuncher? Well, being patient, first of all, and understanding what you have to get your opponent to do to help you. Because this doesn't work just on you. It's not like the front end where you create it. It's a little help from your opponent. He's got to come in. you got to draw him into a throw punch so you can make a miss. And then you have the alleyway to land something. The kid's proving that he's here to fight. Just look at the punch down. Defense, man. As soon as you feel ropes, move out. Don't get careless, okay? Don't fight his fight. And he got defense. He patient too, man. But I ain't giving him the right hand. That's why he ain't throwing a lot. He trying to, oh my God. Man. If you see it, he trying to land big with it right. Look at me. This is yours. You hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Just keep throwing punches. Listen, you need to move it. And round number three is underway. Man. 
There it went. God damn it. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on uh, instincts, and sometimes uh, that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt God to get damn, there, but you want to get there. Right now he's doing things without thinking, naturally. He's working the bar. He took a he shot, right but now. he came back with a right hand of his own. Oh, my God. Get out the ropes. Get out the ropes. Let's go, man. Way through this round here, the kid's got speed, no doubt about it. You can see his ability to land. God damn, it was yeah, but what you want to see him. now is how effective he is down the road with that speed. Does he place his punches? Hey, is he intelligent with that speed? Shit. Double jab by Tommy Hearn. I like that step hey, back right there, just enough to be out of danger but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. Yeah. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Oh, shit, they hit him in the head. He was fucking me up for a second. Seconds remaining in this round. <sighs> Got about to go at the end. Shit, he hit me hard. Don't worry now, right? I just I need you to focus. Damn, you he hit me hard, hard, man. Keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Mm. Good. I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around. Damn, man. Fighting this fight, you're fighting on the inside with this guy. I want you up like that guy. His nose broke. Let's go, man. Ooh, tough fight. Well, with three rounds complete here, it's worth a look at Teddy's scorecard to see where he sees it. Shit. Able to dismiss it. The kid's keeping his oh, guard up man. very, very well. Right Teddy, now. does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Trying to flip the screen on Everything falling short. Just like that, just like that. Oh, and the angle that he had too. Nice work. He was like nice hard work. To Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Combo yeah, lands to the head. Come on, Shakur. See what you think this is. Trying to make me look bad on TV. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's hard to hit that nigga, man. He got good footwork, man. Look at that shit. I got you, though. Look at that shit. Oh, he's trying to flip the screen on me. From both men, they each got a shot in. Able to counter that attack. There we go. That's when the one Tim Bradley would be like, "Woo!" Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Keep working, bud. Turns his opponent, landing an effective counter punch right there. Let's go, good round, good round. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target. But Eight his rounds punch is a little wide. He needs to shorten them up. Keep the jam pumping and throw the lead right here, all right? I mean, you are winning this fight. Relax. Relax. You're doing great. Keep the pressure on. Yeah, he trying to wait me out, too. 
He trying to wait me out too. I ain't stupid. Round I got some five clip. has arrived. Mm, pot shot this nigga. Tommy Hearns is not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you, you fight me like Lomachenko for Lopez you and shit, man. He's gonna do it the same way. No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's gonna get confidence now. He's gonna take it. Watch how this nigga do at the round six. Or at round six. That was a miss by Tommy Hearns. I see it. I see it. He's gonna looking. do the same way Lomachenko lost to Lopez, nigga. Me up. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. You want me to get? You want me to punch myself out? Look at this. You see the stamina in between the round. Good solid one-two by Tommy Hearn. And now just wasting everybody's out. time holding on. Next round, either this round coming up or the round after, this nigga gonna come out trying to knock me out. Same shit Lomachenko did to Lopez. He got Tried to right there, but he also gave one solid effort by the kid. Hearns is just nice a sitting side. target Move here. I mean, you, you know where to find him each and every time you come on the attack. Yeah, he's very predictable. Mm -hmm. He needs to get on those feet a little bit, start to change his place in that ring. Uh, Final 10 seconds of this right, fifth chill, round. Chill, 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 chill. We won the round. They trying, they trying to wait me out. Beautiful, fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing. I want another round. Look at like his stamina. That. This is your. You trying to wait me out? Don't stand toe to toe with this guy. Keep your distance, all right? Listen, I'm not. Gonna... Now either this round or the next round, you gonna come out trying to kill me. I ain't stupid at all, man. Another round underway, but how many more? Mm. He is hurt. He's in bad shape. He's on wobbly legs. Teddy, he's gotta tie up. If he can. See, that's up to his opponent, Joe. It's not automatic that he's going to get what he wants to tie up. If his opponent steps back a little bit, he can keep this offense going and end get his moving, night. The kid's defense has been Come on, just unbelievable tonight. I mean, Teddy, he takes such appreciation seeing a guy putting forth his craft like this. Yeah, you do, and that's why he's able to have such a long career. That's why he's able to be, you know, so consistent hey, see good. Because he doesn't take a lot. He doesn't get oh, you're doing worn great. out. He's fresh. Works about yeah. his body shot. You see who I'm fighting. <laughs> Run up on it again. Especially how you fighting, too. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. That's it. That's it. Targets mm. his opponent after blocking a shot. There's no need to be on the inside. Focus. Mm. Nice. Damn. He got good defense, man. Sheesh. I don't see how he lost. Especially with his punching power. And this height. Jesus. Blocks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. Uppercut. Takes one, this shit gives one. Much. The right <laughs> hand scores well. Final ten it's seconds. Like constant in the round. But I'm winning the fight. 
Boy, another solid round for him. Teddy, this is one of the best displays of precision punching we've ever seen. He's and if precision had a relative, had a cousin, guess who it would be? It would be timing. Because the timing has been perfect and has allowed him to be so precise. When he connect, God damn. Oh, just, hey, just, 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 just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, it's nice work out there. Just I keep fighting you. smart, oh, keep busy, and don't take a break with this guy, you hear me? You don't need that, no. throw that away. I got you, man, God damn, man. we got a box. Here we go, action to start the round seventh seven. round. The kid's gonna Look try to keep things going in this direction. He has dominated the action he all come. night long. Hearns is leaving himself wide he open. Come. You, just you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he oh, come. do it, but... You're gonna get paid. You're gonna eat some leather. You're gonna get punched in the mouth. That's gonna happen. Look at it. Look at him. More aggressive than him being for like the last four rounds. Look at that shit. Come on, kid. Trying to wait me out. Ah, uh, nigga, you want to box? We gonna box. Nah, I don't want to fight right now. We gonna box. The two should have hit too, man. Ninety seconds to go here. Mm. Now look at him. He does not look good on the back. Nah, end nigga, of that. we gonna box. <laughs> we gonna box, nigga. You wanna fight? Uh uh. Inside. Look at him. Oh shit. Let me shut up. <laughs> this shit hurt. <laughs> but yeah, that's what they were trying to do. I saw that shit, man. Nah, nigga, we gonna box. Ain't no fighting. Hearns is flat out not jabbing enough. I mean, how can you try to win this fight on the outside if you're not letting that jab go? Yeah, how can you win a fight, period? Maybe he doesn't want to win enough. He trying to fight. Seconds. I ain't stupid. He tried to wait me out. Good round, Shakur. And round seven comes to an end. Deep breath, deep breath. Holy shit, you are in control of this fight, man. I seen it, man. I seen it. He was trying to wait me out. Stay away from him. Keep throwing that jab. You need to move your head more, okay? You hear the corner now? Lean to the side. Boom. Counterpunch. Whole different game plan. Teddy's scorecard through seven rounds. The kid's in complete control. There's mm. no other way to see it. What he needs to do now, I assume, is make sure that he does not get sloppy. Yeah, no gambling no, right no, now. No, we no, did no. some gambling. No, you know, no. if you're in the corner, you say, hey, look, guy, we did some gambling early on when we had to, and we got what we wanted. We got his respect. We got control of this fight. Now it's time to just stay with boxing 101. Good fundamentals, good defense. Take it home. Yes, sir. <laughs> I got you. I seen it. Nice block by Tommy Hearns. Yeah, the game plan didn't work. Tommy Hearns is wanting to counter punch here, but that doesn't seem the route to go here in this fight, Teddy. No, he has to be honest with himself and see that. But you know, people under pressure in all walks of life, you know, mm. in the ring, especially you see it hit. right away. You you kind of peek at it right away. It's obvious. Maybe maybe he doesn't want to like see what he has to around. see because then he would have to Keep discipline himself. He's not ready to do that. Then he would have to make the change. Maybe he just wants to leave it this way. At the end of the day. People are going to say, oh, that guy fought kind of fight that, you know, hard to fight with, mm. you know, and he has an excuse. Maybe that's what's going on right now. I didn't mean to go forward like that. I was trying to lean. Able mm. to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. That we controlling him with the counter shot and the angle. He got Oof. hit, but he sends it right back. 
without moving too much. It's a couple of steps from one way to the other. You seeing all that? You gotta do the score. Mm. Oh shit. A little right give hand, and take, and here Sheesh. comes the left hand. Not able to land huh. the uppercut. Big shot. Uh, is in good shape. Don't that's worry cold. About he may be down due to that punch, but you can see right away he's able to go on. Yeah, it's gonna hurt him on the scorecard. And his mouth was open. Oh. It's wrapped. It's in his pocket. Let's go. Give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to address Let's go. and move forward here. Yeah, yeah I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Okay. Slip his punch, then throw a straight right down the middle. Yeah, they go with that shit, man. <laughs> South Park killer. Coming just, off of a round where he was he just find a way around that shit. Now he's got to go back out there. What's the mentality, Teddy? Well, right now, what he's got to do is buy some time. And you got to be one of those mm. time buyers. You know, you go out there and you say, you know, I want to be able to get, you know, I don't know bit how that feels here. short. You want to oh. grab. You want to move. Anything. You can't worry about winning this round. That's gone all right. Survive the round. Get your head clear. How is it falling play. short? Teddy, he's just covering up. That's if I throw an uppercut, it'd hit him. His opponent so much time to pick where he isn't. Yeah, you're right, Joe. I mean, first of all, so you would think the two should be right there. Someone will watch him. They get through, and you just touched on it. I mean, you cover up. Chill, 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 chill. Back to the center, man. Time here. I'm not throwing back. Open up way too much. So instead of throwing one or two at you, he's got the two three, falling short. Three, four, five. You got a problem. Nothing is hit. Like everything falling short. Halfway through the ninth round. I hate when he getting. That mode, man. And you see. We trying, coach. Everything falling short. Accurate shot. Oh. Straight right hand comes in. Everything falling short, man. <laughs> you punched at his chest just then. Like, everything falling short. Nice two punch combo. He's got move for a second. Oh, there we go. Sheesh, yo. And I'm setting the shots up. Y'all have seen me hit him with these shots the whole time. It's just now it's falling short. That's the one. Yeah, that one hurt. That one hurt. Jad right in the nose. Oh, falling short. Look at that shit, yo. Everything falling short. He's got to be defensive. To the end everything is falling short okay. around. The kid's in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. Move out. You got to pick up the speed, all right? Pick up the speed. Now they want to try to jump on me. Round. He gotta do something though, cause he behind on the points. Same shit with Lomachenko. Thing with Lomachenko is he ain't that kind of fighter. Back to action now. We're underway in what Ooh. has been a completely uh, earned it. Oh, God damn, he punched hard. You get the sense this one may not go the distance. Tommy Hearns' work rate is very high. I looked at the punch stats, and you can see that he's a busy guy. I don't think he's an effective guy, though. A lot of these aren't landing. Well, you have a reason to think that, Joe. Guess what? I agree. They're not landing. Mm. Relax! Relax! Get out of the way from those punches! Move your head! Mmm. Good one, man. Jesus. 
the trigger right away with the so left hand after getting on. tagged himself. It don't it's like watching it might not seem like and it, it is all this shit to hit him. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there. That's why I ain't throwing Murray. a lot of power shot. Cause he on point with his counters too. See what I'm saying? It's hard as shit to hit him. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. Hmm. Stay away from those. Good exchange. He fires back. That's what I want Unable to, see. to score with the hook. Towards the end Five of the 10th round, 10 seconds to go. There we go. Good round. And round 10 comes to an end. Keep it up. Listen, I want you to pick his jabs. There you go. When he throws a jab, parry it away, and you'll catch him, okay? You got that? It's gonna happen. Dang. Turn, man. I, I like this. Oh, I like this, this is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing, and you got this. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. It's over. He's tired. He's got nothing left. Just pull. This nigga still punch hard, man. He's in prime position to win this fight now, Teddy. I really don't see any other way it could go. Here we are in the 11th round. And for a good string of rounds now, it's been all one-sided. Yeah, it's been one-sided. Something you just touched on. You don't see any other way it could go. And I think that he's convinced his opponent of seeing it that way. That he can't see any other way for it to go. You're still not moving enough. Move, move! That fell short. That's what I'm talking about. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. Ah, that is a serious oh, shit. punch right there. The kid's showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, Joe, and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually, he's not going to have a good everything. defense. That's something everything that falls short. Oh. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. And he just holds on there. On, Keep doing what you're doing. Everything falling short. It's okay. Pay him back. Burns has got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent oh, scored well with the counter. There you go. God dang. I can't touch him. <laughs> like... <laughs> Comes right back at him with a left hand. Everything falls short. Well placed, well timed combo up top. Yes, sir. When you let me touch him, <laughs> God damn. What a difference from corner to corner as he sits on his stool. He knows that he is in complete control of this fight, peppering his opponent with power shots. Well, it's been like that all night long. Anything he throws finds a target. Nice work. Good job in that round. Like I said, he's going to lose his Don't worry. the same way Get that Lomachenko. Rhythm, okay? I want to see more Jerry. Lopez. Too little, too late, nigga. You don't need that. No, throw that away. That's the downside of that waiting shit. You gotta win some of the rounds while you're doing that shit. You gotta win like two of the rounds while you're doing that shit. And they have well, at least the establish some type of offense. Tommy Hearns is ruined with that punch right there. Ooh, oh, come on. Hit man got hit himself, and he's looking to clinch. You know, I don't know if he's gonna know how to clinch or how to survive. This is an offensive fighter that really hasn't been in this position. Every time in we the heard past. him 
This is going to be interesting like to too. see how he goes about it. It was it. Plus shot lands after blocking away his opponent's effort. Oh, shit, that hit, man. The kid's having a That's massive round defensively. I love what we're seeing from the footwork with him. Very good movement, sound defensively. Is there anything he should be considering adding to that arsenal, though, right now? Well, he's got to find spots for offense. You know, he's making his opponent miss. He's getting him off bounds. He's frustrating him a little Let's bit. Go. You know, pop at the right time. Mm. You know, let it fly a little bit in the right spots. You keep your guy off balance. When you got him off balance, you make him miss, make him pay. Tommy Hurts is scored upon by a left. There it is. Once Let's again, go. he goes down. Can he survive this? Around the guard. Mm, right around the guard. Mm, Sam down. One, two, three, four. He getting up. That's it. Let's go. The fight is over. Let's Tommy go. Tommy Hearns is unable to get up and continue on. That was a tough ass fight, man. Cool. Still, man. Strap season continues, man. You know what we want. The kid's your winner here tonight, and still the belt holder. Did everything that you would ask for a fighter to do. Oof. 12 round stoppage, man. Twenty eight power shots at me, man. He wasn't trying, man. Oof, had to be, had to be so careful that fight. Tommy Hearns, man. Sheesh. We almost got all of this XP bonuses. Down to the go. Let's get another belt, man. Let's see. Let's say Elena for the last fight, yo. Hold up, real quick. Let's check the matchup. Damn, six foot, 74 inch reach. Yeah. Oh, 24th on the pound for pound. 39 and 3. 35 knockouts. Alright. endurance and toughness be careful not to pass out from his option don't threaten me with a good time nigga. let's go four weeks to y'all go promo event for Rainer champ in order to promote your upcoming title fight, ESPN wants to film a two-hour special with you and your opponent. Take a week off and try not to mess this guy's face up until fight night, all right? <sighs> ESPN. All right, man. Hey. Hopefully, it's the first week. Fight challenges. Win with less than 16% damage received. Win the fight before round seven. Against a counter puncher? Okay, we'll see. Inflict enough damage to cause a cut on your opponent. Knock down your opponent by round four. You get counter punch it though. Yeah. 
camp second week. All right. Let's get this 40, man. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just keep it simple. Just stick to the base. Yeah, counter punches, so we got to lead. We'll deal with that toughness for now. We'll deal with that toughness for now. We'll be alright. fight against Daikanu Tim Kim versus Punika Ed Silver versus Constantine Vasquez alright let's get it man see y'all to fight good evening everybody fight. glad you've made the decision to be with us alongside Teddy Atlas let's go. I'm Joe Tessitore and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan, home to this championship York, fight. York. 12 rounds in the welterweight division. This Let's should be a good one court. tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. 
Yes, sir. The kid's a guy who you can see is supremely confident in his abilities. Look at my guy, man. Shabuas Davis, man. <clears throat> I ain't playing with him. He's ring walk. Just a Look at this cool nigga bringing my belt. Stride to him. Look at this nigga bringing Looks my like belt. Just another day in his life. Let's go. Fucking right in the mustache, man. Look at him. Big guy. Big target. Let's get it, man. Five and no, 21 KOs. It's cool, it's Stevenson, man. They say he born, cause all he do is win. 39 and three, two draws, 35 KOs. Six foot, man. Remember, guys, obey my something. commands at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. With me Touch him up. Fabulous atmosphere in the air tonight. Round one of our championship fight, Teddy. You can almost feel this arena pulsating with excitement. You've been through these kind of fights before as a trainer. What's it like? For the fight, it's imagination. You have to control that imagination. The first punch brings it down okay. to reality, something you've done before. But for the trainer, it's everything you've been mm. working for in your lifetime. And you're thinking, did I do everything? Did I make any mistakes? Did I turn every stone over? Oh, I threw the uppercut, but it didn't come out. Able to dismiss it. Stay away from those. I like his style. Teddy, I assume many times in your career, you were instructing like a fighter a tall, to face Shinko. a fighter who just had the longer reach, flat out had it. What did you tell him? What did you try to cement in his head leading up to that fight? You know, sometimes you get caught up when you're fighting Ooh. a fighter with those great, outstanding physical attributes like tallness mm. and height, Ooh. reach advantage. You start to think that only one way is the way to go. You got to force yourself to work your way in. Up a cut. I remind up a cut. myself and I remind my right fighter cut, that right you can cut. step out and make the taller man give up his height. Walk him into traps. Mm. Good jab. Blocks that punch. Let's see some mm. more Stop throwing with him. We got him. We got him. He trying to box. Good step back. Uh, Counter punch there. He can't Beautiful. outbox this stuff. Last ten seconds. First round. Of his first we got twelve round. rounds. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Ooh. Oh, and then he hit me after the bell. And it just boggles the mind time and time we sit here ringside and we watch guys who waste time. They're out there just going through the motions, not firing off punches. Hey, if you don't move yeah, your hands, you, you don't throw punches, it's hard to win rounds. Let's go. What are you waiting for? I'm glad you we had this Tommy fight? Hearns fight. Then you know, let's get moving out there. This he guy's going to win thing. this fight. If you don't take control, son, you need to take control. I just gotta watch the damn uppercut though. Shit. He throwing it too. If I can catch him, nah, I might be able to set up something. Let me see. Here we go. Round two is mm. underway. Off target with that hook. Mm. Jab nigga deaf, man. Keep doing that. I'm jamming to death. We got to outwork him. The kid's the kind of guy who is going to exude confidence. That comes from being unbeaten. Mm. That straight right unable to connect. I don't know how. I don't know how I missed.
He trying to get me to dip to that side so he can throw that uppercut. I ain't stupid, man. Halfway through round number two. Look at him. He's scared to come in, though. Like, he's fighting all the way on the outside. Look at him. This is a waiting game. I threw the two after that, but it didn't come out, man. That's crazy. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Are you good? Swinging at nothing, swinging at nothing. Chill, chill, chill. We're doing good. A good block. Targeting that jab with the right hand behind it. Mm. Well placed mm. shot. Came after a nice defensive I'm move up, there. I'm good up. block. Yeah, Ten geez. seconds remaining in this round. He getting confused. Starting to touch him. Starting to touch him. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, down. easy to note here that he wasn't it. landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but it wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty Starting slick. To touch him. Pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target. But his punch is a little wide. He needs to shorten him up. Throw the lead right hand. Winning this fight. I got you, coach. You're doing great. Keep the That's the Puerto Rican side of his family. And round number three is underway. After getting tagged like that, Let's go. gets rid of that effort. Relax, relax. Oh, so the kid's Ooh. cut is on the cheek, and you can see oh, he cut that's me. bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Son of a bitch. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. We'll be right. You know, a lot of people, Teddy, think that fighters like these two in the ring don't have fear, but that's not the case. No, it's not the case. Either you're a liar if you say you don't have fear, or Ooh, you shit. should go to a doctor and find out quickly what's wrong with you. Everybody has fear. It's a matter of who uses it, who controls it. But I'll tell you a quick story. One time, Customato told me this story about a fighter, Artie Diamond, actually, that he had years ago. What a tough son of a gun. Mm. This is a guy that always wanted to... Mm. Oh. Oh, one shot knockout. Let's go. Just torn down like an old building. This fight is over. One shot knockout. Let's go. Oh my god, right on the button. Mm. He ain't had no chance for it. But look, oh my gosh, he dropped his hand. Dropped his hand. Look, dropped a bit. Oh, right over the top of it. Good night. Let's go, man. Champ, champ, nigga. Let's go. Get me in my face like that. Hell wrong with him. Let's get it, Shakur. The kid's done it his way. Still champion of the world, a winner here tonight. Well, he told us he had a dream. A dream where he was still the champ. All that dream goes on. Yes, sir. Shakur Stevenson, man. He only landed six shots to my head, and that one cut me. Ain't that a fact? Ugh. Let's go, man. EABF Championship belt. All the blood, sweat, and hard work is paid off. You're the Electronic Arts Boxing Federation Champion of the World. You keep fighting like this, and you can be remembered by the fans and the media as one of the greatest of all time. Let's go, man. That's too long. Mandatory.
Lambert Gordon. Good luck to both. He made a best man win. Let's see what he's talking about. Number five guy. Damn, six foot. No jab. Left hook. This nigga about to get killed. Oh, it's over with for him. Holy shit, never mind. God damn. Okay. Sheesh. 100 strength. 94 speed. 100 endurance. 96 condition. Jesus Christ. 100 toughness. 98 reflex. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's get it, man. Deontay Wilder. Let's do. We gonna need the strength. Let's go. It was speed good. So yeah, we need the strength. We need to stay up. Share the video if you like the content, man. As always, Slim Reaper 256, signing off.